this as a, as a, as a scholar. Then after you put the faith, of course, those books need to be read with faith, but what kind of faith? It's same as scroll. The scroll you have to read with a certain faith. Uh, the faith on the master, the faith on the art, the faith on your practice. Uh, you need to understand that those book, uh, it's hard to use the word book for them, but anyway, those texts, those writing, they are written with a certain cleverness. Do you understand that? With a certain intelligence, with a certain faith, with a certain love. So automatically, they talk to your cleverness, to your intelligence. So you have to read them with a certain state of mind, with a certain uh, psychological predisposition. I hope it's clear. If you don't have this, no matter what, if you're a scholar or a religious man, you will be always, you will always turn to a kind of fanatism. And that's a very, that, that's why it's really difficult. The book is forever, but the way you, it's for everyone, but the way you use it, it's your problem. Uh, don't blame the book. Uh, if you blame God because everyone is bad, I mean, look, he let you give you the chance. Everything is on, in the front of you on the table. You don't want to take it, you take the knife. That's your choice. But don't blame this. Don't blame the, in, don't blame the writing. Blame the interpretation. Uh, interpretation is free. It's already a big gift. So what I try to explain you here about the Densho, I read the Densho, you know the Densho, some, sometimes the Densho is very, very simple. Grab, hold, I do sometimes translation of scroll, and it means nothing. Why, why I do that? I do this in order to show you that if you don't have the practice and the relationship with the one, the one who wrote this, huh? when you read this without that support. And everyone, you know, in your line of job, in, in every day's life, for example, in uh, the duty of all your, your specialities, you know what you're doing because you have read many things. And when there is, for example, information that comes from another part, from another part of the, the country or from someone else, you understand each other because you have pretty much the same background. You talk about the same, you have something in common. So when he sends you something, you can analyze, see, observe, and see what is good inside and not say this is bad. He said, you have to read it in that way. So we need keys to read a scroll, like any kind of book which talk to the intelligence, you need keys. Keys, of course, is the practice, a certain culture of your own brain, which means etc. etc. I hope this is clear for all of you. That's why where I know, where I've seen this, it's easy. I did the technique and one day I saw the boss and when the boss is doing his clear, clear water, blah, 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 it doesn't move, he shake. And me, when I do, he shake. And when I do the technique, it's a damn it. I, I hate that word in Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> I hate two words, dame and chigao. <laughs> because the chigao sounds like dame, even if it doesn't mean dame. <laughs> dame. Well, at least you know where you stand. Yeah? Because if you said, ma, very good, uh, <laughs> you know you do something is off on your legs. You know, the, He said, very good, and then he said, I'm not really sure, you know. <laughs> so, dame. And at the moment, you make yourself small, you know, very under. So you, don't, you don't want to try again because you know you're going to do the same. <laughs> that was the only choice. Your hip are high. And here, it's like an insult. Come on, my hip are high. <laughs> Practice. Yeah, he's right. And he did once again, BAM! Everything froze. He can froze a moment for a second, like, pipe, the position stop. Like, you can feel his stronger, 